This is a topic that many people shy away from. They are careful not to bring it up, but the spiritually inclined know that death is a part of life. Besides, it is only a transition. I hope I'm not scaring you off. Don't worry, we're not talking about death in this video, but how to greet the bereaved. Eka wakma da suwe bagede tana do, oru komini tana emi se ni olu konyi lori bagede ye. Ibi ni atin ko e kole de yoruba, ti a sitin konye kwa e ya yoruba la kwa po. To die in yoruba is called ku. However, we prefer to say she I see or kwa kuda. Kwa kuda means to change state. While she I see is to be no more that is to be no more in this realm in this physical realm for kings when a king dies we say obati waja ajai ceiling and so it is used metaphorically in this sense to say that the oba has gone to a higher place because of course you know ceiling is up so they say obati wo aja that is the oba or the king has gone into a higher realm a higher place these different metaphors are just a way to say that the yoruba people believe that we don't die and cease to be no more that is unlike some some beliefs where you know they say the people die you you live once and then you die once and that is the end of your life the yoruba people have a different belief so we believe that when you die you change state you transit from or you transition from one realm to the other realm this realm we are in is a physical realm while there is another side the other side the other world the spiritual realm either one you choose to call it and so because of that we don't we we don't carelessly use the word ku for human beings that is why we use all those metaphors I've mentioned, Pakoda, um, Shaisi, Waja. Sometimes too, we say, um, for instance, for an elderly person, we say, Babati, really? All of this are just to say that this life here is temporal, and I believe you know that already. While there is a paradise, there is a home where we originated from, where we came from to the earth, and so when we die, we go back there. As you already know, the Yoruba people are famous for their greeting culture. We greet for every situation and occasion. And considering the beliefs of the Yoruba people about death, there's a thoughtful process that goes into how the Yorubas greet the family of the deceased. First of all, it is important for you to know that the Yorubas perceive the death of a young one differently from that of an older person. Yes. We believe that death is a change of state. However, we are careful not to treat the death of a younger person nonchalantly. The reason is that ki da kima We believe that it is better for a parent to die ahead of the child. This is why you would normally hear Yoruba say that Timobaku omoni yo simi. And they would normally pray that Therefore, the Yoruba people mourn the death of a young person, usually within the range of 0 to 50 or 60 years. When they announce the death of such a person, they say, Labajati Shaisi or Tamedutsi Pakuda. Remember those phrases that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. On the other hand, a person who dies in great old age, leaving children, grandchildren, or even great grandchildren behind, is considered good. They believe the person has lived a good life, and so such death deserves to be celebrated. In this case, you're more likely to hear things like Baba Tiribi Agbari or Yati Rili. They can also say Baba Tilosemi. This kind of death is considered Okwayeye, which means that it calls for celebration. So it usually comes it usually comes with fanfare 
party ceremonies, etc. For the sake of learning, I want you to know that all these phrases I've mentioned are euphemistic ways of announcing people's death. But sometimes, you know how grief can take over people and they can be fatalistic in their approach, in the spur of the moment. And usually, this happens with the death of younger people. So you can hear things like, Otigbe Mimi, or Ofo Shonle Oku. Now that we've distinguished between the death of a young and an old person, how do we greet the bereaved family in these two scenarios? In the case of a young diseased person, we greet the family Ekwa Temora, Ekwa Araferaku, Ekwa They can add some prayers and say, Olonwa Fele Shashemo, Ani Riremo. Ekwa Temora is a way of um, comforting the bereaved, telling the person that you acknowledge how much they are enduring the pain of the loss. Ekwara Feraku, on the other hand, um, signifies an acknowledgement that this person has just lost someone. That is, Ara Feraku is someone has just left or departed from the family. So that is, in quotes and unquote, minus one from that family. So Ara Feraku is, of course, you're going to miss this person because the person is now gone. This is how to greet when an old person dies. Ekwa Shende, Ekwa Dele, or Ekwa Dele. I'll link the video explaining in details Ekwa Dele in the description box. In addition, we pray Eyi Mamada or Eyi Babada. Koneja Kufa. Akufa is recurring death. So sometimes they believe that some old some people die and their death results in more people dying. So they pray Kunija Akufa to say that may God forestall future death. Bear in mind that the fact that old people's deaths are celebrated does not mean that the family will not mourn. After all, nobody wants their loved ones to die. There you go with the different ways to greet a bereaved person in Yoruba land. I hope you found this video educative. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Matumari in Ophara Mira. Odabo.